Full name is Atengosi Siavuya Chutwana. I'm from East London, but I'm commonly known as Cyber J. I'm primarily a rap poet, a uh, generational talent of sort, because my father was a traditional praise poet, so I picked up poetry because dad was doing it. And then I shifted from poetry uh, during the, the Lil Wayne, Rick Ross era in the 2010s and found that rap was more my thing. And then from there, picked up rap, started rapping, and needed beats, and I had to start learning how to make beats out of necessity. Uh, from there, as I started learning about the entire music process, I realized I needed a bit more, a bit more skill to actually make the music I wanna make. And then I started through trial and error, being my own mixing engineer. And then while here at Rhodes, I took up a course uh, called Sound Technology. So as of now, I am an all-round music production guy from your recording, beat production, and mixing, yeah, but not yet mastering. From the construction of the art and putting it out there, more than being in front there myself. So I started looking in started doing research on the business side of things. That's when I decided to become the music manager at RMR. Uh, so I can learn uh, what happens in the background when music is being selected, alongside doing sound tech, where I learn what happens in the background when the music is being made. I enjoy the idea of being a gatekeeper, because being a music compiler made me understand how and why songs go on radio. Being a recording artist on campus is actually a major hack because there's these noise hours, especially now with COVID regulations, you can't even have, can't even have guests over. So I can't even have recording sessions with the lads like I used to. So now what I end up having to do is uh, go, to a, go to a friend's place. So I pack up my my studio setup, the stuff you see behind here. And I set up at a friend's place. A friend of mine has been kind enough to host me quite frequently, uh, Simbongile. We meet up like whenever we can actually. It's like three times a week on average, I think. But whenever academics are not strangling us, we use that time to get creative. Most of the songs we do don't get released, but it's a great outlet. Uh, in this texting environment. Believe me, believe the, the, night. Believe was right. the question of the music I make, uh, I really don't know how to answer because I make whatever I feel. Like if I had to summarize it, uh, I'd say I rap about the things that make me happy and the things that cause me pain. If it makes me feel some type of way, that's the music I'm making. And of late, actually, <laughs> I've been making a lot of heartbreak material. So I've been Taylor Swifting of late, but so are the rest of my boys. Even Simbongile, every single song I've ever heard by him, he's Taylor Swift. We combine sounds depending on how we feel. Uh, combine sounds with the hopes of creating a feeling because making music is an art like any other. The primary objective is to paint a picture and the instruments and the instrumental you used uh, create the scenery. Those are the colors and whatever lyrics and story you tell on top of that is the final touch.